as you can see, what we have today is snowflakes and snow folks. And just to get you interested, look at this card that Teresa did. It goes in three segments and isn't that gorgeous? And look at the back. How pretty is that? Okay, we would like you to please come and play with us. Well, I'm gonna start out with the snowflakes and snow folks. Uh, this is the 12 by 12 pattern card stock. There's 12 sheets, all double-sided. There are 60 cutouts. That's a really large number. And you get the idea from the front with all of these very layered snowflakes and then some really cute little snow folks down there. Now we have this in 12 by 12, also in six by six. The six by six will have uh, 24 sheets, including 120 cutouts oh my goodness and then of course to coordinate we have the um, snowflakes and snow folks solid cardstock with 11 colors on 12 sheets so that's going to work we also have some cutouts and there are 31 of them they're on two sheets you kind of see the two sheets there but I'll be showing you as we go through this they're also as always ideas on the back and we do have, of course, our snowflakes and snow folks chipboard with 15 pieces. And wait till you see what's been done with those. And then we do have snowflakes cutting dies. And there are five of them ranging from three inches across to one inch, perfect for layering. And then we've added this time some snow folk um, dazzles. And they come like this. They are glittery silver, they are translucent as well as silver pearl, as well as white. So snow folks can come in lots of colors. Now, before we get started, I do want to show you a scrapbook page because we wanna make sure our scrapbookers get a piece of information. And this, of course, is using the big 12 by 12 snowflakes and snow folks. There's another of the snow folk. Two um, photographs were double matted onto the solid, and these are cutouts, actually all four of those are cutouts from the uh, patterned cardstock. And I like to say how they are overlapping the photos, and that way kind of your eye goes through all of them and everything is visually connected. Now let's get into the new cards. And this is using the 12 by 12, although this is our regular size card, five by six and a half. And I just wanna make sure that you see the sparkly that's happening on all of those chipboard pieces here and the snowflakes also. But let's start with our card. And I do wanna say one thing too, is that with the chipboard, this uh, snow globe snowman, this is a shaker card that was done um, on the package. So you can certainly make it into a shaker card. Teresa elected to do it into, just to put it on her card. And she has done a couple of things. So the paper, comes from this sheet and how fun that she took it and didn't use these guys right away but elected to use this area so this has been trimmed a little bit smaller than her five by six and a half inch card uh, and glued to the center so that worked very nicely then she took another sheet and it is this one this is the one that you just saw on the scrapbook page but she only used this area and cut a piece and then double matted it on white and on green and those colors are in the solid cardstock so you can see what that is happening and by doing that she's got the snow already falling within her um, snow globe so that worked nicely now the green and the white here are what the big sheets look like but as i said they are in the solid cardstock collection now she did take white ribbon and she wrapped it around this piece then she's going to tuck those other pieces underneath it so this is out of the white ribbon set this is the crepe and what we love about the crepe is that it makes a bow so nicely and even when it gets smashed down it really does a nice job of staying looking lovely now let's get into that uh, chipboard and what Teresa has done is she has used um, the tri-blend markers to color and so you can see she's used teal she's used green she's used brown 
and uh, left the white areas uncolored, even though the chipboard is kind of an ivory, but she didn't color it, so she just used the TriBlend markers. Now, she has listed in the instructions the big box that has 24 of them, and you can use that or you can get the uh, the markers individually and because they have three colors on every single one a light medium and dark you can uh, play with the colors as you so so fi see fit okay so that's going to be step one but then i need to bring in my craft mat to show you the next step and i because i think it's just doggone brilliant um, and so i'm going to bring in my spritzer and also, this is the Pixie Sparkles Frozen Pearl. So I'm going to leave that. Now I have a water brush. You don't need one, you can use a paintbrush. Um, but let me just show you. And I've got my chipboard right here. So Teresa had a spritz a little bit of water and then put the Pearl Pixie Sparkles in that water. Now I'm not sure what you're gonna see on the um, craft mat, but let me show you what happens. Okay, yeah, you can't really see anything, can you? I can right here, and I'm going to just mix it up. And then what Teresa did, and I'll do it on one of the snowflakes, is she painted it on the snowflake, just like I'm doing. And you will see that it's going to turn a darker color. Well, that's because of the water. But what it will also do is it will attach the pearl snowflakes. Now let's get in closer so you can really see that sparkly. There you go. Okay. There you can start seeing it. There you go. Now what you want to do is let that dry. How will you know when it's dry? It's going to turn back to its original color. And then you're going to want to do a second layer. So just do the exact same thing and just dab it on, no, no big trick. Now what she did on the card is it is on the snowman himself, that little ball cap, his face and his body, a little bit over the teal that was drawn just right under the snowman, kind of giving him a little shadow. And then of course, on all of the snowflakes and look how shiny that is. Now I imagine if you wanted to speed the drying time, you could probably take a heat gun to it, but I think you can see how sparkly this gets. And it's really kind of neat, a neat technique. And um, so really wanted to share that with you because I thought it was brilliant, like our Teresa usually is. Let me get this out of the way. In fact, I'll get the whole thing out of the way and bring the card back just so that you can really see that. Now then she glued everything in place. And as I said, the smaller little snowflake is here. The other three are there. They're in graduated sizes. And then she took a teal a jewel dazzle and put it into the center of each one. And also the teeny tiny ones are the buttons on the snowman. How cute is that? That you can really see that sparkle, can't you? Really, really nice. Okay, well that is the front of our card. Now let's go to the inside. And this time, Teresa used a different paper. So this one, you saw that on the front of the card, but she did the same thing. She turned it on its side and used that area to cut for the inside of the card. She did mat it on this dark blue that's out of the solid card stock, and then the holiday greetings, well, you can see them. All the other pieces from the chipboard. Holiday greetings, two more of the snow people, more of the snowflakes. Now, these two snowflakes were made teal, so you use that first. The others, you can see the colors, red and yellow, purple and blue. The tiny teal uh, border dazz or jewel dazzles are for the buttons onto the center of the snowflakes and the holiday greetings. Those were all done with that technique using the uh, pearl, let's see, frozen pearl, 
pixie sparkles, just really nice. Now she also added some thin line dazzles at the top and the bottom, and this comes from the colorful set. Now she used, actually she used the teal that I'm showing you, so that worked out nicely, didn't it? So you can see just what a fun card that is and a great use of all those products. Okay, now I mentioned that we have um, the dazzles. That is new, we don't always do that. And as I said, there are four sheets. Now when Debbie was doing hers for um, the packaging, she colored on top of the dazzles. And so she has the red tie, the uh, blue hat, green hat, a uh, pink scarf, and so you can do that. That works nicely. Teresa elected to do something a little different. Let me bring these in, and here is her card. So she has used the same dazzles, but she's done something a little different. I'm gonna first start, before I get to that, I wanna get to how to do the card. So the first step is to take our five by six and a half inch card and turn it on its side, okay? Now the fold is at the top. So what she did, she measured two and a quarter inches up on, on the right and seven eighths of an inch on the left and then drew a line between those two marks, two and a quarter and seven eighths. By the way, you don't have to remember any of the measurements. Just go down below, click on this card and any of the cards, and you'll see written instructions for every single project. So that will just make it a bit easier. Okay, so after drawing that line, then you trim right along that diagonal space, okay? So then we are going to set this, and we are going to um, cover this with some paper. And what Teresa used is the six by six paper pad. And this is the sheet that she used to cover that. She did mat it onto the dark blue. You remember seeing that in the last project. So I'm gonna mat that. You can see a lot of blues in with the snowflakes. And then she used the border from this sheet and just trimmed that off and glued it over the top of this. Now, Teresa, true to form, did give us a pattern for that paper shape. So this is a download. Again, it's with the instructions um, down below, okay? So we've got that. Now, that takes care of this. However, she did add that bow, and the bow came from, as you would expect, the blue ribbon set, okay? So she did the bow, and then she tied a knot right there. And this is out of the cutouts that are part of the paper collection. In fact, there is that sheet. And this is, um, doo -doo -doo, let it snow. It's gonna be right there. And it's already matted for you, so all you have to do is just trim it out with scissors. Okay, let's get into our uh, snowmen. Now, what Teresa did is she cut out this paper this one, but she used this area, and she did two rectangles. She matted them on the light blue solid cardstock, and then onto a blue glitter cardstock. How pretty! And that creates these two rectangles. Now you'll notice that they are foam taped so that they extend off the card front, and they kind of show on the card inside. That worked beautifully. But I want to get to the dazzles because I think it's really fun. Now, the one on the left is simply using the silver holographic sparkle dazzles. Now, right there, you see every color in the rainbow. But when it's on the card, you really see the silver. Just works out nicely. And the uh, faces and so forth, um, are evacuated, meaning that they are holes. You can go in with a black marker if you want to. That's your choice. Now this little guy is something where she did something different. So she took the white dazzle, and I'll just pretend like it's that one, and she took the translucent one. So I'm gonna pull this little guy off. 
And can you see how sparkly it is? But it's translucent. Now you could just put him on a white um, cardstock and he would be a perfect snowman. What Teresa did is she layered him on top of the white one. And that's exactly what it's going to do. It's just going to attach because it is a sticker. But you can just place it right on top and you'll see it's going to look like that. So you have a couple of options and that works very nicely. I'm going to tuck that little guy back. And now she did um, allow that little bow to be from the uh, one of the other, in fact, it's right here, out of the silver pearl and put it on top. You can see that you've got some extra um, snowflakes, of course, but you've also got some extra bows, extra hats, extra scarves. And she has used that here. In fact, the pearl scarf is there and the pearl bow tie is right there. So that's nice. Now going to the inside of her card, she used this, car this paper. And you can see it's going to fit nicely. It just needs to be trimmed a bit, matted on the dark blue. And then she did two strips of that glitter and placed it there. And then you see we've got more snow people right there. And a snowflake added. The Merry Christmas is a cutout. It just works very nicely. And on this, I didn't mention those snowflakes, but you can see them. So the snowmen just are really fun. And there are many things that you can do with them. There are tons of snow people there and um, different sizes. So you can make families. You can have them mirror your own family, if you like, or whoever you're getting those cards to. OK, let's go to our next card. And this is a gatefold. However, Look at those snowflakes. Aren't they pretty? And obviously, they are done with our cutting die. And they are done on one of the glitter. And this is on one that is called a blue mix. So let me just bring this out a little bit. It actually has purple. In fact, I've got a piece right here. It has blue and purple. And I almost see some silver in there too, but it is just stunning. And I have to tell you, the very first time I saw this card, I didn't see the snowflakes. And I thought, well, that looked a little empty up there. That's not like Teresa. But then I picked it out of the package. You know, that's a good thing to do. And saw how sparkly those are. Very nice to have the variety of sizes also. Now, this is obviously a gatefold card. And just to cover all of our bases, I'm going to start with our regular five by six and a half inch card. And I'm going to lay it flat. Then I'm going to measure two and a half inches on each side. I'm going to use um, the scoreboard and use the um, bone folder just to go along those two lines, that measurement of two and a half inches. You can use um, anything that you have, but certainly you do want to measure that. And then you're going to fold those pieces to the center. They don't want to overlap. They just want to meet. And that's going to be a good place to start. OK. Now I'm going to pull the paper that Teresa used, and this is it. And this little guy, as you can see, does a nice job. Now Teresa does a neat thing. She will cut her paper to fit the card and then cut it in half and glue it in place. And that works very nicely. Now she also used our thin line, excuse me, our straight line dazzles. Now this comes from the um, uh, it's called a colorful set, okay? And obviously there's blue in here, green, red, all sorts of colors. And she put the thick ones at the bottom and a skinny one at the top, just next to the outside edge of the card on both positions. And so that does nicely. Also notice that she let one of the snowflakes kind of go over the edge of the card just a little bit, so that works. And doesn't that little snowman look cute with the bird and the birdhouse and the tree? Now, 
going to the inside. Oh my goodness, look what happened. Okay, we've got something else going on. Okay, let me go back to that card and let me show you. We're going to the center line. You want to measure one half inch from each side. Go back to your uh, scoreboard. And again, like I said, a half an inch. Take the um, bone folder and you want to mark that half inch on each side, just like so. Then what's going to happen is you're going to fold those forward so that you're going to have that pop happening, just like this. How fun is that? Okay, let me put that back in place with a firm pop. And let me show you this again. So that's all you have to do. It's just that little bit on each side of that fold. And as always with a gatefold card, we always cover that with paper. Now we're going to go back to that very first sheet. And she did use this one on the front. But then going to the inside of her card, she used this piece. Now, this piece is going to span this card. So she first cut a quarter of an inch off of here. And she's using this top area rather than this bottom area because she wanted to have a piece to go over on the right side. The larger area is going to go on the left side. So cut a quarter of an inch off, set it aside, we'll use it, and then follow the directions to cut that piece. I'm going to go a little bit, do that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then you'll have that quarter of an inch, and you can glue it over this edge. So you have this really nice spanning of stripes on the right and the left. Now, as you can see, the uh, piece that's right here in fact, let me show you. This comes from these cutouts. Now, these are larger cutouts, but they are designed to fit perfectly on our cards. And you can see this little guy is right here. And there are six of them. And you get, of course, two of each. You also get all of these greetings that you can add to your card making. And that guy is going to get matted on white, which is, again is in the solid cardstock. And he is going to simply be glued to the center piece. This cutout is going to be foam taped and more snowflakes are added. You see all of those snowflakes are going to go through the whole card. And you can see that there are the larger snowflakes on the outside of each card. And doesn't that look nice? What a nice surprise. So that's going to stand up nicely. And that is going to be a great presentation. I love how she has uh, a dark color on the outside. And then this guy pops with those stripes just working really nicely on the inside. So there we go. Beautifully done. I think the warm winter wishes, you know, I said that was a cutout. I think I lied. Um, it is out of the die cuts. And yes, there we go, Warm Winter Wishes. That's out of the die cuts. We'll be seeing more of those in just a moment. And now, as I said, this is using the snowflakes. This is the card that is on the package. I just wanted to share that with you because it's an excellent example of how you can layer them. So Teresa used them individually with the glitter cardstock, that blue mix. Lene decided to use them individually, but also to stack them. And that works nicely, too. So it's always good to have a couple of options, don't you think? One other thing that Teresa did on this card is, um, and it might be a little tricky to see, but she did edge it with an ink pad using the blending tools. The ink pad that she used is the Midnight. And you can probably see it best down here. Or actually, that is snow. But because she used the blending tool, it did come up there. She used it on the edges and also on the top. 
So just to make a nice border to that card. Okay, one more card. And that's the one that I showed you in the beginning. And this is just a really fun card. So comes like this. It's going to fit into our regular envelopes. And this lifts up. By golly, be jolly lifts up. And then we have our little snowman right there. And all of those areas, Teresa elected to cover. And then on the back, not to be outdone, she did something on each of the panels again with the uh, cardstock and the cutting dies, this time using the gold, just really beautiful with red jewel dazzles. Okay, let's get into how we do this. Oh, and by the way, yes, this will stand up. I'm sure you figured that out but it will stand up just like that. Really sweet, very fun. Snowflakes on the front too. Okay, so what she did is to first cut three pieces of cardstock. Now, all of them measure eight inches by four inches, okay? Now I'm gonna turn this over and show you the score line. So you're going to go from the left and you're gonna measure one inch, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, and seven and a half. So that's going to make this piece, okay? Then we're going to take the one half inch extra sticky tape and put it on the smallest tab, that one half inch tab, okay? Now what's going to happen is that this is going to get attached to the inside of the card right there. And that's going to make your first panel. Now, so I've got um, that done where I've made the box. So let me pull this off. And one way to do this so that you you're make it super easy is, so I've removed the, the liner. I'm going to lay it flat, and I'm just going to press that on top. Super easy. You don't have to try to get it straight or anything, that will take care of it. Okay, so I've got one box, then I've got another box, but then I need to put another half inch extra sticky tape, and this is going to attach just right there at the edge. So, you pull that off, and position it. And again, you're just gonna do the same thing. So those two are now attached. Okay, then we're going to take the right one and do the same thing. And that way we've got everything attached and that's exactly what we want. So right here, it's going right under there, right under there. Okay, you can see that so right there. So that's why you have to have the tape, not only on the inside to make these pieces, but on the outside of two of them and they just go right behind this piece. So. You know, something that I did that was incorrect is I placed it on the edge. I'm going to tear this off. Here we go. <laughs> Extra sticky tape. You kind of want to do it right the first time. But let me just fix this for you. Okay. It's not going to be very tidy, but it will work. Okay. So... As I said, I have this, and I want to attach it here. So this is going to get attached right there. So I want to be able to have this pop up, okay? Just like that. And then this is going to attach right here. So we want to just make sure that it's attached properly. So you're going to see that, okay? So take a good look at this and that will help. Got it? Okay, now you know the truth. I'm not perfect. I know that's a shock, but it's okay. Okay? Now, what did Teresa use? To make her boxes, she used this um, kind of an old gold out of the solid cardstock, and that's going to work nicely. She did use the six by six papers on this, and let me show you. So on the back of this guy, you have this. And because you get so many of these, um, 
you've got plenty. And so they are going to be, again, the measurements are down below. You've got a piece here, piece here, here, and here. They're all the same size, so you can just slice those up. Then the larger piece for here and here is going to come from this. But on the other side, you have this piece. So that's going to work quite nicely. So everything really coordinates because it's from the pattern paper, the pattern cardstock that we've designed to coordinate. Now you put all of those and we're going to go into this. Remember I showed you the great big one? Well, this is the smaller, this is the six by six. So this little guy has got been matted onto the um, same dusty gold and has been foam taped right here. And this border is going to come off of that other sheet that I showed you that has that, well, in fact, it's this one <laughs> right there. So that piece will go there, but then you've got enough room to do this guy. So that's going to work nicely. Now, the, so we've got these two taken care of. The by, go, by golly, be jolly, that comes out of our die cut sheet and that's already die cut for you nicely. And so all you have to do is glue it down. Now, um, Teresa used the gold border dazzles. This is it, 31 dazzles here. And you can see that she used different ones. She used them all on the front, she, and then right there. She didn't use them on the back, so that's you know your choice. If you wanna decorate it, you can. The center of each of the snowflakes, now the snowflakes were all cut out of the metallic gold paper and just are stunning. And I thought it was really interesting that she used the red jewel dazzles on the center of those. You can see I pulled some off of here, but they just do a nice job of that pop of red all the way through and you can see then on the back, again, more of the dazzles are used on the metallic gold snowflakes. Aren't they stunning? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Well, that comes from our 31 die cuts. And again, that uh, red pop on the uh, snowflakes just does a really nice job. Okay, so you can see that Teresa has been very busy. Fortunately, you have enough time to be very busy too. Now we do have in this whole collection so many things. We do have the 12 by 12 cardstock. We have the matching solid cardstock. We have the six by six. We have the die cuts to make sure that you have lots of embellishments. We have the snowflakes, which as you can see are kind of a must have. If you're going to have something called snowflakes and stow folks. We have the chipboard with a new technique and we have all of these snowmen, snow people dazzles to add to the collection. Now, all of this is available and we have even more snow people coming in. If you want it all and you want to make sure that you always get it all, every month we come out with a collection. It doesn't always have dazzles. In fact, that's kind of unusual, but generally we have all the other things. And if you want to make sure to get those, actually before this webisode airs, sign up for the I Want It All subscription. You will get a 20% off, so that's a nice savings. However, that does not include the cutting die. Nope, that's not in the I Want It All. That's in the I Really Want It All. Yeah, and that's how you have to say it, really want it all. That will include everything, including the cutting die. Same deal, it's going to come to you before the webisode airs, and you get 20% off. Now, if you want those, just feel free to go on the right side of your screen and sign up. If you, uh, speaking of the right side of your screen, there will be a money saver and that will give you a discount on the whole collection. You can certainly buy them individually. Okay, that's all the uh, nuts and bolts of how we operate. Again, all of the written directions are down below. Just pop on the, uh, click on the card that you want and you'll see them. And um, that download will be on that card also. 
So I wanna thank you so much for joining us. We absolutely love sharing with you and our goal is to inspire your creative spirit. And I think Teresa's done a good job of that. If you're watching us on YouTube, we hope that you will like us and subscribe. We can add more people to our subscription. Please do pop over to paperwishes.com. Take advantage of that money saver. And please leave a comment. We would love to hear what you think. And as we're getting into the holiday season, I think this is going to be a nice uh, beginning step for us. Thank you for being here and for being part of our Paper Wishes family. Bye-bye.